All right, so this is gonna be a bonus episode. I want to see what the other dialogue option gets you if you choose to not save the prisoners this when you enter like into the, the experimentation chamber. Missing humans. Um, I want to see if it Locked. alters some of the outcome for this. this. I'm betting Atlantis still uh, <laughs> sinks into the abyss, but I want to see what Ada and Juno think is my destiny. Is everyone so More far has seemed to have just uh, the bigger the secret. assumed my destiny for me, whereas you know it's always some means to further their own gain. Except for Poseidon. Poseidon, I kind of like because, well, he's naive. He does outright his intentions are rather good. He wants someone to help him, you know. Judge and save Atlantis. Someone really doesn't want any visitors. Whereas, you know, Persephone was an over controlling bitch and didn't want anyone to have any happiness but her. And Hades wanted to use this as a guardian for his underworld, which was in shambles. Poseidon's really the only one who had rather mundane, rather mundane need for us. Stealth assassinate. Slip around the corner. Yeah, this helps that I know exactly where I'm going and how to get there. And now for the uh, absolute cluster that is the monsters. Oh, and there's my over, my uh, encoding overloading. <laughs> the Minotaur. Yeah, again, this is some freaky shit. Isu using humans but as a template for their experimentations. I, I don't what like it. Is this? Oh, and I kind of remembered what Juno's whole thing was. Ah, uh, she hates humanity with an undying vengeance and wishes to uh, once again enslave us and or just eradicate us from the planet and bring about bring about I think a new age of Isu. Not entirely sure. All I know is she wants to take over the world and is going to use our internet to do it. Show yourself. My name is Aita. I am a scientist, and in many ways, these are my children. You we got some ugly the kids. The Cyclops, the writhing dread. Her monsters. Are we not all monsters? Imperfect beings striving towards our ultimate potential. Is that not why you're here? I'm here because a little boy's parents are missing, and all signs point to you. How very human. Oh, that still gets me. Yep, yeah, Sphinx. Ugh. Where's my explodey arrows? Part. Don't worry, I'm getting everyone out of here. Didn't anyone teach you it's cruel to lie? 
What? What Skrull is abducting and experimenting on these people. Without sacrifice, there can be no progress. Without experimentation, there can be no perfection. Perfection We're is overrated. Poseidon's law. I am advancing knowledge for the betterment of Atlantis. Poseidon's lack of vision keeps us in darkness. But we are close. So very close. You're insane. The smartest people I've met don't resort to violence. Did you not nearly raise Elysium to the ground in the pursuit of knowledge? Let these people go. It's too late for them. Project Olympos has already begun. One human escaped before the transformation was complete, and lives were lost. This won't happen again. Surely you understand. Gera? She took her own life after what you did to her. So, you've seen the beast she becomes. Yeah, what's the fun? Out of here. But, don't you want to know what's behind this door? All right, I'll play. Tell me. Why tell you when I can show you? Just know to enter the chamber is to forfeit their lives. You cannot have both. What if I just killed you, set these people free, and broke through your stupid door? <laughs> yeah, that's some bullshit. <laughs> You can't kill me, Cassandra. I can try. I can see you're struggling. What if I told you the greatest achievement in Atlantis is behind that door? And that we owe that achievement to you. What are like you talking that. about? Through there they don't like the sound of that. path to immortality. For you. For us. Embrace your legacy. Forget these miserable humans. Abandon morality, and the answers to all your questions are just beyond that door. Abandon Please, your morality. Save us or we'll die! Um, you will be reborn! Ooh. Don't you want to know why you you're are really insane. here? Free the people and this door will remain closed to you forever. Pass through, however, yeah. and it will lock behind you. These rats will be mine. What will it be, the Gustis? Their lives? Or your destiny? <laughs> what you think is my destiny. Uh, again, I would rather save the people, but since this is alternate ending time... I'm sorry. I want to see what's behind door number three. Oh, that's a clone. That's freaky. What? No. Impossible. They're all clones of me. That's terrifying. You. It was always you. Human, Isu, perfection. Again, perfection is overrated. The it is stagnation. Coursing through your human body makes you always strive to become better. It has endowed you with their resilience and our consciousness. More so than any other of my creations, you are what Project Olympus was always meant to be. The ultimate weapon. Uh, and no, thank you. controlled an army of you. The inevitable war between humans and Isu would be over in a heartbeat. <laughs> what option do I choose? Not if I cut down every last one of these things. <laughs> Don't waste your energy. We can always create more. Poseidon's going to hear about this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Line up. Oh. If only I could leave with all of you and... Oh, I don't know, go rule the world. 
so I guess that's the answer. Um, and so I'm pretty sure this doesn't change what happens at all. Because it, she still responds to the to the whole experiments. Is, they have gone on long enough. Poseidon needs to hear about it. So... It looks like we're still gonna fight the uh, Abomination and sink Atlantis into the ground. Okay, I'm just gonna prove my theory correct. One more. Uh, come on. Come on. There's what I want. I'm gonna go prove my theory correct, and we will. <laughs> oh, this will be a short little bonus clip. Yeah. No, I don't like where this is going. Create an army of Cassandras. Because yeah, the human, the East who created humans to essentially be slave labor, we became, more, we were more resilient than our gods and we were able to do withstand more uptake on more tasks was and survive in more a, a var larger variety of environments I mean it's the reason why humanity has kind of taken over the world is because we have despite the fact that we have no fur no claws no teeth no, nothing that would actually make us like an apex predator Oop, wrong button we have our intellect and our ability to withstand a lot more punishment than most My other species on the planet. I can only presume you've delivered judgment to Atlantis. Uh, you yeah. said you outlawed experimentation on humans. All of it was lies. These who are out of control. What are you talking about? My laws are absolute, and by them again, you are naive. Mind. I like you, I but you're naive. It. Your laws I'm gonna keep most of nothing. the same options, honestly. Other than again, I just wanted to see what happened. What was behind that door? No one would have the audacity to disobey me. Surely this is a mistake. You should listen to her, you know. And then here comes the bitch. Impossible! You're forbidden from entering the city. Guards! Your guards respect your sons. And when you appointed that hybrid as your dicastis, your sons turned to us. Even my sons know better than to bow to a warmonger! The humans are bringing war whether we want it or not, Poseidon. They should after what you've done. You mean what they've forced us to do. Poseidon worries about the sun and his solar floral regeneration project. Catastrophe is coming for us. On that we agree. But there is only one catastrophe. Humanity. When I got here, Poseidon said I was where I belonged. Someone tell me why I'm really here, now! Such sadness. She's even more human than I expected. Eta, answer her. Gladly. In you, we found opportunity. Imagine the possibilities if we duplicated your hybrid form. We Which could you employ did. our technology Maybe to control lots of evil little mind. clones. You hybrid can be used to craft Juno's ultimate weapon. Or rather, you could have been. My husband's experiment was promising, but after observation, we've decided you are a failure. Our new weapon is far deadlier than you could ever be. The Ekatohiras. Aida. You didn't. I did. The Ekatohires will rise. Project Olympos will strike fear so deeply into the hearts of humanity, they would never consider revolt. And you will declare my husband the Vikastis Vasilevs. Vikastis, uh, no. stop this. If they are successful, we are doomed. All of us. You have to trust me. Yeah. You, deal with these two. I'll find a way to stop their plans. Oh! Yeah. Poseidon's actually pretty damn good with that trident of his.
It's too late. The procedure was already a success. The Agadochires lives. Can't you hear him stir? You did this in my laboratory under the palace. Entrance was barred when I outlawed human experimentation. What is that sound? Is that your weapon? I will bring justice to this tomb, but I need you to stop the Ekatochires before it kills us all. Go! Okay, yeah, so the, it's the exact same ending as what I got previously, so that'll probably be the end for this. I mean, I, I got my answer I wanted. I wanted to know what was behind the door. And it, again, it doesn't change the overall ending to the to the episode. So, all right. To Valhalla we go.